Hello, Alex. Hello, Marielos. Hello, teacher. It seems like not everybody wants to connect to the class today. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened, Marielos? What? What happened? I don't know. Maybe they... They are on vacation already. <laughs> they are still on vacation. Yeah. <laughs> and what? But you, 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 you were late, or what happened today? Excuse me. You work late today. Late? No. You work today work. late. Yes, I, I I went to work today. Now, yeah. What time did you finish? And vacation? No, the work like today. Oh, at what time? Late? No, I finished at five and thirty. Five thirty, okay. But you work close to your house. <clears throat> yes, I is the the work the my job is is near to my house. Okay, okay, perfect. Okay, so uh, welcome to the class. Welcome, Alex. Alex was the first one here, like a long time here, the only one. And then Marielos came and now welcome Evis as well to the class. Thank you guys for being here. I don't know what happened to, the, to your other classmates. I don't know if they're coming today or if they are not. Maybe they, I think, I know guys, when we are on vacation and then we can come back here, it's difficult. I know that, believe me, I know it because it's difficult for me too. But here we are because we want to learn English and we want to, wait a second. And we want to improve in our lives, right? So that's why we're here. Anyway, thank you for being here and your punctuality. And I'm gonna start because we need to start. Uh, first of all, let me tell you that today we're gonna watch two videos like they are in the class. And we're also gonna watch um, idioms. Remember I told you idioms to like piece of cake, lost track of time. So I have a video for you today that is about the 10 most common idioms in English. So we're gonna do that as well. But first we're gonna start with the class and please um, send me the date to the chat because we're, yeah, we need to send the date. Okay. Remember, send it private. Like only to English Corporativo, not to everybody. Thank you, Marielos. Marielos, your name today is Marielos. <laughs> Yeah, it's Marielos. 
<laughs> okay, perfect. Alex, thank you. Yes, it's Tuesday, April 19th, 2022 or 2022. Thank you very much. <clears throat> welcome to the class bodies and welcome to the class Blizzelda. Thank you for joining us in this class. I thought I thought I was gonna be alone with Alex, only Alex and me. Sorry, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good okay. Evening. Good evening, bodies. Welcome to the class. Okay, perfect. Good evening. Hey, good evening, Alex. You were the first one, right, Alex? Yes, I'm first one in class. Okay, perfect. You were very punctual. Thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you. Welcome, Milton. Welcome to the class. So I only have Marielos and Alex uh, date. The other ones, please remember that we have to start with that, the class. Okay. And right away, I'm going to go with the video. This is the last part of section three. And today we're going to like work on section four. And remember that we are going to be finishing this module, if I'm not mistaken, the 27th. Wait a second. It's the 28th. We're going to be finishing the 28th with you guys. So please, um, it's important that you finish the platform and you're working on the platform. Who's on section four already? Who is on section four? Um, I was working in section five. Section five, perfect, perfect. Before enter to the class. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, perfect. Thank you very much. So I no, not yet. You are in what section, Alex? In section three. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you need to be working on section four already, okay? So try to keep it up. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Wait a second, guys. I have a problem here in my house. I'm sorry, guys. I have a situation and I'm really scared because I'm scared of bats and there's a bat in my house. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what is a bat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like Batman. Okay. Yeah, and he, he looks like he's dead. I yeah. don't know. Like don't a, know. a mouse. With... Yeah, like a flying mouse. <laughs> yeah. One entering my house. And I don't know, he was flying and not finding the exit. And now he's dead on the floor. I don't know if he's wow. dead or something. It's, it's, it's weird. I don't know, maybe he's dead, maybe he's not. Wait a second. I don't know, yesterday my puppies and today is a bat and he looks like he's dead. He's dead, no, he's alive. He's scared, maybe. He's scared. I'm just guessing, but I'm scared too because I'm so scared of bats. Oh, well, I'm going to try to keep it up, anyways. <laughs> I'm scared. This is scary. Okay, anyways, um, I'm going to share the video right now in this moment, and then we're going to, uh, and I'm going to share the idioms with you that uh, we have the idioms today. Okay. Share with us, how do you react when someone forgets your birthday? Learn the following nouns for discussing reactions. An assumption, a criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, a warning. Okay, this is new vocabulary. I guess that some of these words, you already know them, okay? But, okay, let's see. 
Doing nouns for discussing reactions. Discussing reactions. So. An assumption. So in assumption, it, if you do it, a, okay, uh, in a criticism, a demand, an excuse, a prediction, a suggestion, a suspicion, and a warning. So if you can see in one part, we have the vocabulary, and the other part, we have the meanings. What we're going to do right now is to match, okay? Match. One with letter G, for example. One with letter D. But I'm going to give you the answer of number one. Let's see. An assumption. Oh, it's not the meaning. It's an example. Okay. An assumption. You can be so inconsiderate. You'll probably forget your anniversary too. Hey, yeah, that's an assumption. That's an assumption. You'll probably forget your anniversary too, okay? That's an assumption. I'm assuming that you're gonna forget the anniversary again. That's what I'm assuming, okay? So number one, it's gonna go with letter D, right? Number one, letter D. Now. Take a screenshot and we're gonna work on this to match the statements with the reactions, okay? Please. You take a screenshot already, let me know. You ready? Yep. Ready. Okay. The bat just woke up from his nap, oh my goodness. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> I send you the invites. I don't know if you got them. Miguel, welcome to the class. Where were you? Hello, welcome. <laughs> I cannot listen to you. You're muted. Oh, okay. uh, I listen? Yeah, you yeah, listen? I can listen now. Ah, okay. Okay, welcome okay. to the class. Okay, I, I am sorry, I, I am going my home. Okay, okay. It's okay, don't worry. So I'm gonna send you to a breakout room so you can work with your classmates, okay? Okay. In an assumption to say it's better the teacher you, mm -hmm. you probably forget our 
universal too, okay? Um, uh, criticism, okay, this, I, don't, I don't remember the, the, the pronunciation. Uh, criticism, maybe. Um, you can be so considerate look guys i think i think i have a mistake maybe uh, an assumption is not your probably for your anniversary too maybe that's a prediction look at it it looks more like a prediction like a prediction uh -huh. a prediction you'll probably forget an anniversary too yeah right it's probably okay because it's a probably okay it's good if you do it again, you'll have to find a new girl. Yeah, that's an assumption. Good. Yeah, no, no. I don't know the assumption. But in a prediction is you'll probably forget anniversary too. Mm -hmm. That's a prediction. An yes. assumption is not. There will be. There will be. I bet you were out with another one. It's an assumption. I remember it was called maybe in the current and a prediction was you must. Yes. An assumption. Mm. So what's the prediction? With, with number mm, 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 letter F. Um, you must have wanted to break up with me. A prediction? Mm -hmm. No, that's not a prediction. That's you must have wanted to break up An with assumption. me. That is a uh, suspicion, maybe. Well, that's because a suspicion, I think, is I bet you work with another woman. That's a suspicion. suspicion. And you must have wanted to break up with me. Is a... Uh... Assumption. No, wait, maybe. wait. An assumption. Yeah, an assumption. Correct. It's confused because number one and number five have the, the same... I don't know. Structure? Yeah, yeah, it can be confusing. But no, believe me, I check and a prediction is you'll probably forget our anniversary too. Okay. 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 Hello, guys. I have something to tell you that I'm so sorry that I um I got confused. But number five, a prediction is letter D. You'll probably forget our anniversary too. That's a prediction, okay? That is not an assumption. An assumption will be, you must have wanted to break up with me. That's an assumption, okay? Because I'm assuming that happened. And a prediction is something in the future, okay? So a prediction is you'll probably forget our anniversary too. So number one will be, Letter ah, okay, F. you probably, you are probably. Uh -huh. Number one will be letter F and number five will be letter D, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, Evis, okay, Boris? Okay. Perfect.
It is. Let Hola. me let me share the screen, please. Okay. For me, a suspicion is a letter B. I bet you were out with another woman. Okay, I bet I bet you were out with another woman. Bet. What is the meaning of bet? Bet. The post. Ah. That's why Boris is saying that he thinks it's a suspicion. Mm -hmm. A warning. Later, e. Now you have to take me out dinner twice. Mm, no. no, you must have. No, the you're talking about the what is it? As number eight, warning. warning, the warning, warning. No. Mm -hmm. Look at letter A. Correct. Hey, if you don't know, you have to find your girlfriend. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a warning. Like an advertisement, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, that's. <laughs>
Marielos, hi. Did you finish? Hi. Yeah, I finished. You guys Did you finish? finish? Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Let's check. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, so Marielos, you say you finish. Tell me, what is an, well, assumption, we say that as the assumption is uh, you must have yes. wanted to break yeah. up with me, right? Yes. But F. tell me, let it, I mean, number two, a criticism. What is a criticism? A criticism is letter C. You can be so inconsiderate. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. Um, Ibis, what is a demand? A demand later eight. I know. Yes. Letter E. Excuse me. <laughs> letter E or letter A, Evie? Because this is letter A. A demand. A, a, a demand. A demand. This one is mm -hmm. letter A or letter E. Letter E. Okay. Now you must have to. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um. Boris, excuse. Letter H. It's okay. You must feel re re really sorry. Yes, it's okay. okay. You must feel really sorry. Thank you. Um, let's see, Alex. Uh, prediction. A prediction is a letter, a letter D. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. A suggestion, Miguel. Is letter B, I mean you were out with another woman. <laughs> a suggestion is letter B. Really, so, like, I bet you were out with another woman. Really? Yes. Wait, 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 wait. A prediction. Yes, estamos hablando de prediction, right? A prediction. I bet you were out with another woman. Hmm. Ah, a suspicion. Suspicion. No, no a prediction. Prediction. This one. Five, a prediction. Uh, okay, uh, letter D is prediction. Okay, you'll probably you forget anniversary too. Yes, that is true. Briselda, suggestion? Suggestion? Um... You know, you want to buy me flowers. Letter G? Yes. Okay. A suspicion, Milton? Milton. Excuse me, me, teacher. I'm sorry. A suspicion, you must have wanted to break to break up with me you must have wanted to break up with me that's a suspicion yes uh, do you guys do you guys agree do you guys agree or do you have another answer guys it's letter b b a suspicion, I bet you were out with another woman. That is correct. <laughs> you look confused, guys. You look confused. Yeah. Right. It's letter B. It's I letter B. It's letter B, correct. Yes. It's a letter B. Yeah. And number eight, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Help me out again, bodies. Letter eight. I mean, number eight is letter. Boris? Letter A. Uh -huh. If you do it again, you'll have to find a new girlfriend. Exactly. Thank you very much. All these ones right here, guys, if you can see, they're about relationships, right? So if you do it again, you have to find a new girlfriend. That's a warning. I bet you were out with another woman. 
That's a suspicion. You can be so inconsiderate. Well, this, this is like a not healthy relationship <laughs> for what I can see, right? You can be so inconsiderate. That's a criticism. You'll probably forget our anniversary too. That's a prediction. Now you have to take me out to dinner twice. That's what? A demand. You must have wanted to break up with me. That's a, an assumption. You know, you ought to buy me flowers. That's, let me see, suggestion. It's okay. You must feel really sorry. That's a, an excuse. excuse. Perfect. Okay. So these ones, they, they are like not healthy relationship. Mm -mm, don't do this. <laughs> this is like Chernobyl here. They are fighting over something, over everything. Okay, let me play the first video that we have on section four. And then I'm gonna go with the things that I told you about the, 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 the idioms to be like more fluent when speaking. Remember guys, by the end of section three, we have the midterm. And we have to finish the midterm uh, and then start section four because we're going to be finishing, I told you, Thursday. Next week on Thursday. Yes, next week, Thursday, we're going to be finishing. So, yes, only two weeks. Keep on watching these videos. They give you a preview of what this section will be about. My name is Matthew Hawks and I'm a singer-songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet, the way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I can spend hours writing one piece. I'm writing this song. I titled it, Revelations. When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. I started with a one word, Revelations. I look it up in a thesaurus, and I could have ten words then each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. As I sun skies dawn, I will think about all that's true. At the end of the day, if I don't get my way, I will knowing what to do. When I feel I've taken my song as far as I can, I then bring it to a recording studio. I think it's important to get feedback and ideas from other musicians. Aldous Collins is a guitarist and a friend. He accompanies me in the recording studio. At the studio, we work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr. I'm a recording engineer. My job is to capture music of a band. I go around and mic everything up, it comes through my board and it's recorded into the computer system here, a multi-track recorder. All right, guys, roll it. One, two, three. The recording engineer mixes all the vocals and instruments together. Recording your music can actually teach you a lot. You hear your own music differently. Revelation. It changes your perspective. 
and you notice all kinds of things that you didn't when you composed the song. At the end of the recording session, I have a digital file of my song. I take my songs to radio stations and try to get them to play them on the air to build an audience for my song and my music. Hi, my name is Melanie Oliver. I'm the program director here at the radio station. The program director's job is to decide what music is played on air. So I pick the songs and tell the DJs what songs to play. Hey Josh, come on in. Hey Melanie. Hey. So I've picked the three songs that we're going to use for the local music show. Okay, here's some background information. Great. One of the artists' name is Matthew Hawks. Okay. The song is called Revelations. It's going to be a really good song, so I think you should play it on your show. Great. I look forward to playing it. Great. Thank Th you. Thank you. My name is Josh McBride, and I'm a DJ right here at the radio station. The main responsibility of a DJ is to play music on the radio. Other responsibilities include adjusting the volume, speaking with listeners, conducting contests, and reading commercials. Here's a new one from a Boston local. Matthew Hawks did this one. This is Revelations right here on WERS. And now, people all over the world can download it too, which is so cool. If you want to download it, look me up. My name is Matt Hawks. Revelation I'm just wondering, this song is real or is not real? Matthew, Matthew, Huck, uh, Huck, wait a sec, Huck, with C, S, 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 with S at the end. Matthew Huck, Revelation, It's, it is like an underground, underground artist, but yeah, he does exist. Okay, did you get everything in the video or you need me to play it again? Hello. Am I alone in the class? Hi. Hey. Hi. <laughs> play again. Please play again. I understood. Mm, Hi. Play again. Yes. The okay. okay, everybody wants to play it again, just Mariela's like, okay, but well, let's do it. The first thing you need to keep in mind is that he's an artist, right? And he's talking about the creative process of a song. So yeah. first you need to do this, then you need to do that, and later you need to do that. Like different stages on a song, okay? That's what he's mainly talking about. My name is Matthew Hawks and I'm a singer-songwriter. Making music is my creative outlet, the way I make sense of the world around me. When I sit down to compose, the first thing I do is tune my guitar. Once the guitar is tuned up and ready, I set up the keyboard. The keyboard has multiple functions and multiple sounds. What comes out of me is a reflection of how I'm feeling that day. Sometimes I can spend hours writing one piece. I'm writing this song. I titled it Revelations. When I sit down to write, one of the things I like to use most is a thesaurus. I started with a one word, revelations. I look it up in the thesaurus, and I could have ten words then. 
each with a different sound, each offering a different rhyme scheme for me. As I Important to get feedback and ideas from other musicians. Aldous Collins is a guitarist and a friend. A guitarist. What is a guitarist, guys? What is a guitarist? Exactly. He accompanies me in a recording studio. Exactly. At the studio, we work with a recording engineer. I'm Richard Marr. I'm a recording engineer. My job is to capture music of a band. I go around and mic everything up. He's so happy to be board. a recording engineer. It's recorded into the computer system here, a multi track recorder. All right, guys, roll it. One, two, three. The recording engineer mixes all the vocals and instruments together. Recording your music can actually teach you a lot. You hear your own music differently. It changes your perspective, and you notice all kinds of things that you didn't when you composed the song. At the end of the recording session, I have a digital file of my song. I take my songs to radio stations and try to get them to play them on the air to build an audience for my song and my music. Hi, my name is Melanie Oliver. I'm the program director here at the radio station. The program director's job is to decide what music is played on air. So I pick the songs and tell the DJs what songs to play. Hey, Josh, come on in. Hey, Melanie. Hey. So I've picked the three songs that we're going to use for the local music show. Okay, here's some background information. Great. One of the artists' name is Matthew Hawks. Okay. The song is called Revelations. It's going to be a really good song, so I think you should play it on your show. Great. I look forward to playing it. Great. Thank Th you. Thank you. My name is Josh McBride, and I'm a DJ right here at the radio station. The main responsibility of a DJ is to play music on the radio. Other responsibilities include adjusting the volume, speaking with... Okay, but mainly we get the idea right now. So the idea is the music process, like how a song goes to the radio, or in this case, like to the platform. Now we don't like listen to the radio that much. So the first step is just like writing the song and how the artist feels, and then it comes a process after that, right? So now, um, I don't want to keep like losing time on that. So now I wanna, I'm just gonna share this video. Wait a second. So is there anybody working on a computer in this moment? Nobody's from a computer right now? Because I think here, here is the problem. The problem is I want to share a video with you about idioms, but if I play the video, YouTube is going to ban my video, like this video, and it's gonna be like copyright stuff. So I cannot play the video for you. So nobody is on a computer right now, right? You're saying nobody? No. No? no, 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 no. In a cell phone. Okay, everybody's on a cell phone. Well. Yes, in a cell phone. Okay. Well, so the thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna send you the link to this idioms like and you can watch it maybe save the link and you can watch it like when we finish the class okay that's going to be better because if not then i'm going to get my videos but like like banned it's going to be like i'm using like i'm doing copyright and yeah it's a process so there you have it those are idioms that you can use in <clears throat> Uh, that you can use to sound more native when you're speaking. Like there are a lot of idioms, for example, that I, one that I told you, piece of cake, it's raining cats and dogs, um, lost track of time, 
don't beat yourself too much. There are many, many idioms and you can express different things in, um, with that. For example, in Spanish, we say, lo voy a consultar con la almohada. Have you ever heard, like, have you ever said that, right? Déjame consultarlo con la almohada, después te digo. In English, we don't say, lo voy a consultar con la almohada. In English is, I'm gonna sleep on it. Okay, let me sleep on it. So, déjame dormir en ello. It's kind of the same thing, but yeah, it's different. It's not, I'm gonna talk to the pillow, that's different in English. Yo le voy a consultar con la almohada in English, in Spanish is, I mean, in English is, I'm gonna sleep on it. That's one of those. Another one that you're gonna watch in that video is hit the sack, hit the sack. So that means I'm going to bed. The example that you get in the video is, I'm tired, I'm going to hit the sack. So going to bed, instead of saying, I'm going to bed, you're gonna say, I'm gonna hit the sack. And the good thing about the, the video that I'm sharing with you is that it's gonna show you some examples. Uh, they are using the idiom in movies, in not only in movies, they're using the idiom in series or different stuff. So for you to realize that when you are watching a video or talking to a native person, they are gonna use um, idioms. Another one that is very, very common is break a leg. Have you ever heard that one? Break a leg? No? No. Rompete una pierna. Exactly, Ibis. Have you ever heard that one in Spanish as well? Yes, for a luck. It's for good luck, exactly. That's a theater stuff. Thank you, Evis. That's a theater stuff. For example, in the theater, saying break a leg means you have to give a good performance. I wish you the best of luck. So when you say break a leg, means that you like, it's opposite because break a leg is a bad meaning, right? But the meaning will be like, wish you good luck and they use that a lot in the theater break a leg then we have another one that you're going to watch there and it's spill the beans that means to tell people a secret information in spanish we will say solta la sopa something like that right yeah like what mm -hmm. what's the secret something like that so in english is spill the beans Spill the beans, like scupilo frijoles. That's what they say. We say it different, but they say it in another way. <laughs> That's just how they say it, guys. I don't know. Okay, but um, I'm gonna like I send you the video so you can watch it uh, when you have time. Maybe you can watch many other idioms. They are gonna help you to sound more natural when you are speaking in English. And let me just play the last video of this class. And then we're gonna share what we understand. This is the last part, so let's just pay attention. Hi, if someone tells you that making videos or movies is hard work, would you believe it? Pay attention to Ryan and Nina talk about filmmaking. Movies are hard work. Part A, listen and practice. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one-minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow, I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? So, you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a nine to five job. Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night, or we may start work early in the morning. We have to get everything ready for a shoot, the lighting and everything. 
and that can take hours. So if we're going to start filming at 8 in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by 3 or 4 a.m. to get ready. 3 in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time. Okay, I'm going to play it one more time, and this time that I'm going to play it, then I'm going to ask you a few questions, so be ready to answer. But it seems like working on movies is not so fun, right? It's difficult. Okay, let's listen. Just one. Movies are hard work. Part A. Listen and practice. Working on movies must be really exciting. Oh, yeah, but it's also very hard work. A one-minute scene in a film can take days to shoot. Really? Why is that? Well, a scene isn't filmed just once. Lots of different shots have to be taken. Only the best ones are used in the final film. So how many times does a typical scene need to be shot? It depends, but sometimes as many as 20 times. One scene may be shot from five or six different angles. Wow. I didn't realize that. Why don't you come visit the studio? I can show you how things are done. Great, I'd love to. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else makes working on movies difficult? So, you see, it's not really as glamorous a job as people think. I guess not. For example, the hours are dreadful. So it's not exactly a nine to five job? Not at all. Sometimes we shoot a scene right through the night, or we may start work early in the morning. We have to get everything ready for a shoot, the lighting and everything, and that can take hours. So if we're going to start filming at 8 in the morning, we usually have to be on the job by 3 or 4 a.m. to get ready. 3 in the morning? That's unbelievable. Oh. Oh, no, it's not. Believe me, it happens all the time. So working on movies is not really easy, right, guys? So why do you think working on movies is difficult? Why do you think working on movies is difficult? I'm not sleeping, teacher. Not sleeping? OK. Would you like to work on movies? They have repeated scene um, training times. They have to, in one minute, right, Griselda? It said one minute scene can take days to film. Imagine that. That's, that's stressful, right? That's really stressful. And would you like to work on movies, like filming movies? No. No? <laughs> but would you like to be famous? That's another question. Would you like to be famous? No. No. No, because the people is, I don't know how to say, intensa. <laughs> <laughs> so they like to stalk. So you get stalkers, right? Stalkers, los stalkers, right? Stalkers when you... When you're famous and the paparazzis, right? And the people are crazy, really crazy. <laughs> yeah, people's crazy. I know, I know what I you're doing. It's dangerous, a career dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous as well. It's dangerous as well. Imagine one day you want to go to the park. You cannot go to the park because you're famous, right? And everybody's yes. going to notice you're there. So you're not really alone anytime. Okay, perfect, guys. I'm going to leave you right now, and then we're going to start uh, tomorrow. Please be here at 8 p.m. because today I only had Alex. And yeah, so it feels weird just to have one student. Please come here. And I thank you, uh, Alex, for being punctual to the class. I really appreciate your punctuality, okay? I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. See, you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Bye -bye. see you tomorrow. Bye. Watch the video. Bye -bye. Watch the video. Copy the link and watch the video. Okay. Bye -bye. Okay. Okay. Bye.